Hello and welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Sapphire. In the last episode, we defeated the Elite Four and became champion by defeating Steven. Although, um, with not quite ease, let's say, as uh, we really struggled taking down his Metagross and sort of had to PP stall him essentially to finish him off. But anyway, as you can see, what is now going to be the first of our post uh, post game content videos, just to see what else there is um, to explore in the world of Hoenn. And as you can see, we are back here in Lily Cove. Uh, we've just actually missed a little cutscene, unfortunately. I didn't realise that it would be there. But essentially, our dad was at home. He came by and he told us to um, essentially... He gave us an SS ticket, which we got from Mr. Briny, and he told us to go to the Battle Tower. So we're certainly going to do that. We're just going to have a quick check with Mum. Oh, did Dad give you that badge? And here's something from your mum. And we get the amulet coin. Okay, so the fact that we get the badge gives us the amulet coin. Which is obviously uh, doubles the money. Anyway, we bring you a special news bulletin. We've received reports of a red flying Pokemon in various Hoenn locales. The identity of this Pokemon has not yet been determined. We now return you to a regular movie presentation. So obviously, the red flying Pokemon there is a roaming Pokemon, and it is of course also a legendary, a legendary Pokemon in Lati Os or Lati Ass. I can't remember which one's red, but anyway. We've also got Professor Birch here, but anyway. Ah, oh, Mark, have you come to show me how your Pokedex is coming along? Hmm. So you've seen 150 in Court 77. This is going to be a fantastic Pokedex. So anyway, we're going to make our way over to the SS. Um, we can also catch some Pokemon around here as we reach Old Dale Town, of course. The various areas there are. Ah, uh, okay, so what do we want to do? We can go up Route 103. And then we want to surf. And we can reach Route 110. I need to work out where I'm heading, so let me just fly. Uh, so we want to fly to, I'm assuming Slateport actually, uh, which is, yeah, just below us. And we're going to try and uh, catch the SS Tidal, which I guess is not in the museum. It's going to be in the shipyard. See if it is finished. Nope, wrong place again. All right, do you know what they do with the old ships that have come to Creek? So they sink them in the sea if they become habitats for Pokemon. Route 109. Yeah, sure, it's in Slateport, isn't it? Maybe I'm just being a complete idiot and completely forgot. But no, didn't we see Professor S Captain Stern? Ah, here we are. You. So here, okay, let's have a look. Let's talk to some of these people. So, Captain Stern, Mark, we finally finished making the ferry SS Tidal. We couldn't have it done without your friend, Mr. Briny. Please go for a short cruise on it. The journey to the bottom of the sea, I wonder what it would be like. I think we've already spoken to these people. Alright, are you here for the ferry? May I see your ticket? We're going to give us the ticket. So we can go to Lily Cove, or we can go to the Battle Tower. Um, let's go with Lily Cove first. Now, the Fist Ferry is built to plough through fast running currents. We hope you enjoy your voyage on this. Please feel free to explore the ship. Okay, so seeing as the ship is free to explore, we might as well see what there is to do around here, whether there are some battles. There. I feel a little silly, but we'll show you our lovey dovey power. Ugh. So, young couple Leah and Jed like to battle with their love discs. Uh, right. Anyway, so what we can do here is we can shockwave the love disc and we can leaf blade the love disc. I believe shockwave is actually going to hit us both. Uh, might actually hit Sceptile, I mean, is what I was uh, trying to say. But. That's not too much of an issue. Pelipper fell in love. And we're immobilized by love. But okay, that's not an issue. In many ways, that sort of saves us from hurting hurting Pelipper. Uh, so sorry, hurting Sceptile. But then again, obviously, um, Electric is only not very effective against Grass, so Sceptile wouldn't really be hurt. As they go, oh boo. I can't believe it, our lovey dovey power failed. You must be an awesome trainer. It's the first time that our lovey dovey power couldn't prevail. You must be an awesome trainer. So we're just going to check our Pokemon. And 49, 49, 48, 48, 48, 49. We're going to have an interesting team of uh, Agron and Linoon is going to be our, uh, our 
top two as we're going to head into the next little cabin and we see nothing. I'm just going to explore all these little rooms. You. Ah, you've come just in time. I'm bored, you see. You may entertain me. Says Rich Boy Garrett. Who's got an Azumarill? Um, so the Agron isn't best place. I'm pretty sure we don't have... Yeah. Um... So we'll just swap to Line I guess. To go for these thunders. And we miss a thunder, unfortunately, but we land a second one. And we get the paralysis, which is nice. Um, I'm going to slash here, just because I think it would do the same amount of damage. Awesome. And we defeat Rich Boy Garrett. That will do, he says. Perhaps I should get farther to acquire a yacht for me. A yacht for me and my Pokemon. Oh, you sound so, so rich, so very rich. And we have a gentleman. Are your friends strong? He asks. As we have gentleman Tucker here, who has a minute trick. Uh, which we will watch. We outspeed. Wow. And it roars to roar out our bring in our Hariyama, which we can now earthquake. Take out that minute trick. He's got a second minute trick. Again, we will earthquake. And there we go, boom, down goes the metric. Friends need not be human, for me, Pokemon are treasured friends, indeed. I think we've already got to that sort of idea. Alright, go visit other cabins, trainers bored of the boat trip will be itching to battle. As we could also head downstairs as well, I should say. Mr. Briny, welcome aboard, my they made me honorary captain of the SS title, you can call me Captain Briny now. You know, I retired once before, but when I saw this majestic ship, let's just say it stirred my sleeping soul as a sailor. Oh, that's quite good. Uh, we've got another. Going back between uh, Lily Cove, uh, says this trainer, as he's got a level 22 Skiddy, a level 36 Skiddy, uh, interesting to know what this Skiddy can do to us. I like how we're at minus four, and yet we can still take these guys out. Boom. And a Delcati. Okay, there we go. I'm just... Boom. Down goes the Sableye. Like. Sorry, down goes the Delcati. Save like whips through that team as he says that was an enjoyable match. Nothing too interesting there, but anyway. I guess too excited imagining what kinds of Pokemon I'll get to see in the next contest. Uh, we've got another trainer, maybe? Oh, wow, you're such an adorable trainer. Would you like to have tea, or would you rather battle? Says Lady Annette, who has a Roselia. Um, which we can Aerial Ace. Could also a Blizzard. I think Aerial Ace will do more. As we get a crit, just to rub it in. Awesome. And we defeat Lady Annette. As we can now uh, switch line into the front. There we a world cruise on a luxury liner has its charms, I must say, but I will admit there is an appealing side to touring Hoenn by Ferry. I've never really paid attention to the music's quite nice. But anyway, Charles, did you knock on the door? Says Gentleman Thomas. There's a Zangoose, so we're going normal type to normal type here. We'll slash and see how much it uh, just loads as he pursuits. Good thing I didn't swap out. And down goes the Zangoose. And Linoon grows another level. To be never ruffled in any situation is the gentleman's code of conduct. As we have everyone at level 49, which is pretty nice. Last person. Oh, hi, I'm not acting suspicious. You can have this for free. It, honestly, I didn't snatch it from anyone. I didn't do such a thing. It's clean. You can use it. And we get TM49. Snatch does the flow's move in advance, then uses the snatched move on the foe. Okay, that's interesting. That'd be useful if I was like, saw someone could use that against my Pelipper, for example, if I was going to use Shockwave, and that would be dread. Anyway, another battle. Ah, I'm fed up and dog tired of cleaning this huge place. Let's have a quick battle. So we've got Sailor Philip here. Uh, we're in the, suddenly reached the sort of the water type trainers, it seems. Hopefully we can thunder away. Oh no, he's also got my choke. Uh, so we want to go into Sableye. And we can Psychic. 
Ah, it's so much. Anyway, there we go. It's a useless force light. Good thing. Anyway, we're the cleanup brothers. The older one dumps the detergent, and the young one does the scrubbing. As we meet the other one. There's bottom. There is the bottom of the ship's hull. There's plenty of room. So this is the bottom of the ship. Room. So we see a machop, which is just going to slash, because he doesn't. I was hoping Slash would take him out of the box, evidently not. He's got a Pelipper. We're going to our own, and we will Shockwave. His Pelipper goes to level 50, and he's got a second Machoke. Again, I, I like, quite like using Sableye against these fighting types. And boom, there we go. As we defeat a Sailor Leonard. With the Cleanup Brothers, yeah, we've already read that. So it looks like there's nothing else here, aside from potentially some hidden items. As we find leftovers, nice, okay. So we can find the leftovers in the ship. So it sounds like they're that they've arrived. Let's say it's sometime before we make land, I reckon you can rest up in your cabin if you'd like your cabin's number two. The bed in there is the soft and plushy, I can test. So anyway, we can come into here, into our room, we can rest. And now we can arrive. And now we'll go to the battle tower. And it, oh, okay, so we can now just go straight to there. So it's only if we go between the cities, it seems, that it does that. But anyway, so here we are at the battle tower. So I'm not leaving until I've beaten 35 trainers in a row. Gee, there's a lot of tough looking trainers here. I'm not good enough to enter yet. This is the battle tower. Trainers bring the best raised Pokemon for elimination style matches. Okay. So this is sort of like similar to what we saw if you ever watched my Pokemon Maze playthrough, what they had at the end of that. The number of matches you win in a row is recorded. The record, the record is posted below the reg beside the registration counter. It's also on the back of your trainer card. Hello, hello, you're going to battle here, right? Can you tell me what's going through your mind as you prepare for battle? Alright, so we've got to get these silly. So we're going to cancel it. Are you ready? Here I come. <laughs> you changed your mind? I guess you're fickle, he says. Anyway, what do you have to say? Once you've entered the battle tower, you can't leave until you either lose or you beat seven trainers in a row. You'd best be certain that you're up to the challenge. Well, I think we are up to the challenge. So, which Pokemon do we want to have? Um, I would say Sceptile, Hariyama, Pelipper, maybe, just to start off with. Welcome to the battle tower. Please register with me to enter a battle room. Would you like to make a battle room challenge? Let's obtain information first, but anyway. The battle, tower is a uh, the battle tower is a facility made especially for Pokemon battles. Within the tower are many battle rooms. In each battle room, seven trainers await your challenge. If you to seven, you'll be rewarded with a fabulous prize. You may also take a break from your challenge by saving your progress. Make sure you save properly or you won't be able to resume your challenge. So anyway, we're going to enter the level 50 rooms first. And we want to enter. Enter. Okay, so we can only enter three Pokemon. Okay, cool. So first three. Before entering a battle room, your progress must be saved. This is okay. So we're going to save the game. Anyway, we're going to go to the battle room. And we're going to have to see battles. Okay, so I have rough skin. I need natural cure. So we're going to have to face off here against Rich Boy Clinton would like to battle. As he starts off, he's got a level 50 Solrock as we meet up with our Sceptile. So this is a, obviously an excellent uh, matchup for us. We can Leaf Blade here and we should take it out. Yes, there we go. Down goes the Solrock. Next, we have a Giraffe Rig. And evidently we can't swap out, so that's interesting. Um, we uh, what Pokemon did I bring? Harry Armour and Pelipper. Okay, so no one's really particularly suited to fighting this sort of. I mean, obviously Harry Armour, but Psychic is a big risk. Um, let's just Leaf Blade. Let's see how much Leaf Blade does. Oh, it's interesting. All their Pokemon are going to be at level 50, but my Pokemon might not. That's interesting. So my Pokemon are playing at the level 50 level, despite not actually being at level 50. As we're going to be able to Leaf Blade and finally take out this little giraffe rig. 
And essentially we're going to want Sceptile just to get some damage off against the final Pokemon here. A Breloom. So we could Toxic it, um, or we could Dragon Claw it. I think Dragon Claw's a better use of our time here. Dragon Claw does a decent amount, as it goes cut. Okay, so we've got a Fighting Grass type. It is quadruply weak to Flying. So Fly is the safe move here. And we will fly. As he stun spores us. That's bad. Unfortunately, we don't outspeed Breloom. As he stun spores us again, which is a bit weird. If we land this Ice Beam, I only went for Ice Beam there because obviously it's not a two turn move, which is really helpful. And there we go, we did win our first battle here in the Battle Tower. We will restore your Pokemon to full health. Are you ready? So we're going to face off against opponent 2. Wow, I'm feeling like it's payday. Piker Dev would like to battle, and he said it starts off with Surviper, which is not a good Pokemon for us. We're going to swap directly into Hariyama, mainly because I think Surviper is likely to either be dark or... Ah. I mean, mainly because we've got Earthquake here. It goes for Glare to paralyze us. But we're already paralyzed, so that's fine. As Earthquake's going to come in and do a good chunk of damage. Um, he's going to screech us, that's not great. Um, but Earthquake's going to come through, which is pretty nice. Down goes the Survivor. Next up is a Medicab. Okay. Um, okay, what do we want to do here? What do we want to do? Do we want to try and preserve Hariyama, but then we risk um, our next Pokemon getting really, really... Items can't be used. Okay, so we can't use items in these battles. So how can we just hit this with as much as possible? So fighting is reduced, whereas Earthquake is neutral to the Earthquake. As he goes for the facade, so that's not stab. Um, and isn't super effective because we haven't... Um, so and doesn't double in power because... But we haven't, um, we haven't thingied, uh, we, he's not, um, like, paralyzed, or he doesn't have a state to summon, as he gets a crit, and, oh no, he doesn't, just naturally, just does more damage. We're going to Sceptile here, because Sceptile is our, essentially, kind of like a revenge killer here, because it's so fast. We can Dragon Claw, should take it out. Take out the Medicam, Medicham. Gotta work out which one I want to say about it. And he brings out a Ninjask, so super fast, um, bug flying, so quadruply resists our, um, Fury Cutter is going to be super effective and is going to be worrying because it will build in power. Dragon Claw does a decent amount, so it's going to get speed boost, I mean, the fact is it's, it's already fucking stronger than the whole of my team. Sorry, I say stronger, I mean faster. So, speed boost really means nothing here. If we can get off a final Dragon Claw, there we go. And that's the issue with bug types in this gen. The issue, big issue with bug types is that they have no really strong moves. But anyway, are you ready? Here I come, says Youngster Alvin. Who's got a Soul Rock? Uh, so we've already seen how this works. Leaf Blade takes out Soul Rock in one hit. We've got a Gardevoir. So what do we want to do here? Um... Another Psychic type. Another Pokemon we haven't really prepared for. We'll Leaf Blade and see how much it does. As he's going to torment us, which is going to... We can't move, use the same move in a row. So we're going to Dragon Claw. We'll see how much that does. Doesn't do too much. I think it's because Guard of Wild's got crazy high special defense. Goes for Protect. That's fine. Um, we can't use the same move twice in a row because of freaking Protect. But anyway, we get a crit hit Leaf Blade to take out the Guard of Wild. And next up is a Zangoose. Um, so we're really uh, not in that much of a trouble here because uh, Hariyama will almost certainly be able to take out this uh, Zangoose. Which goes for strength and does a good amount. Obviously is stab. Um, again, we can't use the same move in a row, so we're going to Giga Drain, get a nice load of uh, health back, and then we can Dragon Claw. And down goes Youngster Alvin. So, fourth Pokemon, Battle Girl Cassie would like to battle. Oh, she's got a Ludicolo. So we have the advantage here. 
Um, we are neutral because grass resists grass, but water is weak to grass, whereas their attacks are weak. So yeah. So we're going to continue on, and we're going to take out this Ludicolo, hopefully. It goes for a fake out, but it can't, obviously, it's first turn. As we can Leaf Blade, we can Leaf Blade again. As he goes to the Thief, uh, that's going to steal our Miracle Seed, which I guess is a bit annoying. But we can Giga Drain the final little bit of health back. As we've seen some serious slowdown here, unfortunately, as the Ludicolo faints. Next Pokemon is a Spinder. We should hopefully be able to take out a Spinder. Again, bad slowdown. Goes for Psych Up. And then Teeter Dance. The move that Spinder's really known for. As we are confused, but we get off the Giga Drain and get some health back. Awesome. Final Pokemon is the Kecleon. So, um, you become whatever type I land you with. So, let's have a think. Ideally, you want to be grass type for the finish. Anyway, we're going to leave blade to start off with. And we get cut through, and we become grass type. And yeah, we're suffering really bad slowdown here. And now it's going to be dragon type. And toxic it. Is that going to count? Are you now going to be poison type? No, you're now uh, tail whip. Okay, fine. So you're still dragon type, which means dragon is now super effective against you. Awesome. As we're going to finally snap out of confusion. Sorry about this terrible slowdown. Um, hopefully it's going to improve. It's going to use screech. There we go. Hurt by poison. That should take you. No, it doesn't quite take him out. We'll land a final Dragon Claw. Down goes the Kecleon. Sceptile really putting in all the work at the moment, despite only having, you know, Grass and Dragon. And we're going to defeat Battle Girl Cassie. Cool. So once again, we're going to get this woman coming over, and we will restore your Pokemon to full health. Good, we will now be opponent number five, okay. So let's see how we do. So little Tuba, we are a dual Pokemon, absolutely, truly. So we're going to take on here, we're taking on uh, Tuba Anne, and she has herself a Delcatty. Um, so do I swap directly into Hariyama here? I think I do. So we go straight into Hariyama. Uh, he's just going to be like, Hariyama. And he's just going to, okay, she's going to... Brick Brick, I would have think should take this Delcatty out. It is, oh no, no, okay. So Delcatty's got a bit of a bit of strength to her, it seems. Uh, we can just break, break once more. Ah, if I only had belly drum, that would have been fun. Uh, get up to plus six. But anyway, um, next Pokemon is a Swallow, so uh, maybe it's a good thing we didn't belly drum. Um, swallow is a big issue for us, I've just realised. Pelipper is the only thing that can really deal with it. Um, I'm going to brick break, it's neutral. Peck is not going to do an awful lot, I mean, that's a crit. No, it isn't. Jesus. Good lord, that is ridiculous how much damage Peck did for not a crit. I mean, I, I get it's super effective, but like, what? It's just like, okay. Uh, Ice Beam is stronger. Aerial Ace comes in. So you had Aerial Ace and you didn't even bother using it. Just obviously thought, thought she had it on the bows. But anyway. Pelipper comes in and destroys the Swallow. Final Pokemon is a Grumpix, so Psychic type. We have nothing for this. So we're just going to go for our strongest move here. Um, I don't know if Grumpig is physically or specially defensive, as we are now confused. And our fate is in the luck of the Hex Gods uh, here. Surf is going to come in and do just under half, uh, which is a good sign. It means that for Sceptile, Sceptile should be able to take this guy out. Um, we are surfing here because um, it's very little point in us flying uh, when um, they're using, because obviously fly is a, 
a Sonic Berry to race speed. Interesting. Um, but yeah, the um, no point in using Fly because then you've obviously got two chances to be potentially hurt by confusion, and uh, that's never, never any fun. We snap out of confusion. The Grumpig is going to go down, and we win our fifth battle in a row. So we have um, as we all wait to be healed, we'll get number six. Okay, I am going for it. Says Birdkeeper Dirk would like to battle, and he has starts off with a Sea King, uh, which is really, really nice for us. Uh, we just Leaf Blade here, and if we get the crit, it should take him out. Nope, no crit. Fury Tech misses. Awesome. I knew I was going to be faster, so there's literally no point in me Giga Draining. Um, it would have done slightly less, obviously, so maybe. Yeah, that one. It's fine. Next Pokemon is the Swalot, so a uh, poison type. Uh, we only have Hariyama ready for poison types. Um, yeah, I think we do go into Hariyama here. We can't risk taking, like, if he's got a sludge bomb or something like that. Poison gas. Okay, that's not going to be too dangerous. It just poisons us, I'm pretty sure. We can Earthquake now, and Earthquake should do a butt ton of damage. Uh, I think we're missing a bit of the screen now. It's a bit annoyingly. Um, but anyway, um, going to be able to Earthquake twice in a row here. Take out this Swalot. And then what's next? Final Pokemon is a Masquerade. So, but flying. Um, if we had a Rock type move, that'd be lovely. We don't. Um, I mean, I can always rest this poison off. Is the lovely thing about it. If I still got Resto Chesto, that would be amazing. Um, do we see if this Masquerade is a Flying type move, or do I just? I reckon it's going to rest. So we're going to sleep, become healthy. How are we going to eat a berry? We are going to eat a berry. So, And it's got Gust. Okay, so Gust is obviously uh, flying. It's super effective. Um, okay, I'm going to risk this. Might as well. Why the hell not? We're going to uh, go to plus six. Uh, is he stun spores? Us? Okay. Um, I could rest again, but then obviously we don't have a, a speed boost. Uh, we unfortunately can't move. Uh, Gust shouldn't take us out from this health. But, of course, of course the crit. And Septile is actually an issue for us here. As Septile, um, really has nothing here. Uh, but we can go into our Pelipper here and Ice Beam Masquerade, despite having a lot of, um, water-type moves. Uh, is not a water-type itself. Uh, okay, you're going to weaken fire's power, which is fine by me. Shockwave's going to come in, and we get a crit. Wow. Um, does not do a lot. I mean, obviously I could have... F oh, I should have flied, actually. I think fly might have taken him out. Um, but anyway, the Masquerade goes down, and we defeat Birdkeeper Dirk. Let's know. Sim nice and simple. Final Pokemon. You'll be feeling my fire. Wait, I say final. It's just final trainer. Kindler Irwin... Starts off with the Golem, so that's amazing. We are going to conserve Leaf Blade PP by using Giga Drain. Giga Drain should take this Golem out. I'd be very surprised if it survived. The Golem goes down. Sceptile's going to get... No, you don't get actually get experience from this, it seems. Uh, next up is the Vigoroth. I think we just Leaf Blade here and we just see how much it does. Leaf Blade does over half. That's amazing. That is absolutely brilliant. We can leave Blade again. Down goes the Vigor off. Final Pokemon is a Hariyama. So, um... We know Hariyama have a huge amount of health. So, what we're going to do is we're going to Toxic you. Uh, it's going to Facade. That is really bad news for us that it's got Facade. Um... Okay, Giga Drain. Are you fake it? Yeah, fake out fails, obviously. The fact it has facade is a big issue for us, but the fact we have Giga Drain means we can get back a huge amount of health, just because Hariyama naturally has quite a lot of health anyway. And I think we win. This fake out's going to fail. I think Giga Drain takes it out. Oh, it doesn't quite, but Poison's going to take it out. Sweet. I was a bit worried there, because that facade, facade Hariyama is a big issue. Um, and I think if had he used facade, 
we wouldn't have survived just by getting all the uh, health back with the Giga Drain and we'd have to go into another Pokemon. I think we would have been fine, but anyway. Anyway, congratulations, you've beaten all seven trainers. Your record will be saved. For beating seven trainers in a row, you have earned this fabulous prize. And we get a Calcium. We'll be looking forward to your next challenge. Cool, so we win a seven in a row. And I think what we're going to do is we're just going to call this episode an end here. Um, because obviously I think it's coming up to about half an hour and that's fine. Uh, we've had our seven in a row. I might to continue with maybe do a little bit more here in the Battle Tower. See how many we can get in a row. I have no real aim in like, you know, getting to, you know, like however many you're meant to get to win. But um, yeah, we're just going to continue onwards and see how it goes. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play of Pokemon Sapphire. Um, obviously, having everything finished um, in terms of main storyline means that, you know, we're going to have some time here just to sort of do other things, to look around, see what else there is to get in this game. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to just exploring the rest of the Hoenn region. So I'll see you on the next episode.